Here is a list of troubleshooting problems and their solutions. My mill will not start. Your mill could be improperly wired. Check the system to ensure that the motor is wired correctly. The pellet mill rollers have seized. Disconnect the power source, then check for debris in front of the rollers. If debris is present, remove. After debris is removed, reconnect the power and restart your mill. If your mill does not start after cleaning debris, contact the factory. Pellets will not form. Check the input material for proper moisture level. Moisture content should be between 10 and 15 percent for proper pelletizing to occur. Check input material for proper amount of lignin. If material is not organic in nature, it will not have lignin and therefore will not be able to be pelletized. The pellet mill's dye has seized. The material is too dry and your dye is not properly lubricated. Clean the dye by soaking it in glycerin. The length of time for soaking depends upon material in the dye. Woody material may take upwards of 24 hours of soaking before releasing from the dye. Drill out individual borings with a hand drill. My pellets are too dry. This happens when there is a lack of moisture in the feedstock. Add water or moisten material prior to pelletizing. My pellets are too wet. You have too much moisture in your feedstock dry material or mix with lower moisture material. I have lackluster pellets. Your pellet temperature is too low. Allow your mill to heat up. Your infeed material is either too wet or too dry. Allow mill to heat up. My pellets aren't durable. Your pellets have not cooled properly. Cool the pellets on a screen or cooling conveyor. You have low pellet temperature. Allow the mill to heat up. I have excessive wear on the die and or rollers. You have foreign matter in your infeed material, such as gravel or other substance. Always use clean biomass material. You have improperly prepared material. Run your material through a hammer mill or screen until the material is the correct particle size.